What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Alien Isolation. Let's have a look around. I think we're supposed to be trying to get to Marlo's ship. Pretty sure the Anisador is important to us at this point. However, there was a giant flood of aliens everywhere, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea to kind of to kind of sort of keep our head down for a little bit. Oh yeah, I remember this feeling. I remember this feeling. So if the alien is indeed here, we need to figure out a way to get in there. However, the door was very clearly locked right there, so maybe... I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't pop on out of the vent because you know, I'm out of practice now. I spent a lot of time ducking an alien and now I have no skills at it. Oh, we can weld the door open. Okay, so... That means that our best case scenario... Hold on. So it's at 0.73 right now. Whatever, we're going for it. Pop that thing, let's go. Get that blue flame going. I'm gonna be honest, welding stuff seems like it would be a lot of fun, if not slightly blinding. Come on. Open. I hate welding in this game. It makes me feel so ridiculously exposed. Like, seriously, I feel so naked when I weld in this game. It makes me feel really, really nervous. I don't want to walk underneath that. I don't care about loot. I don't care about anything else right now. I just want to leave. Seriously. I don't want to hurt no alien, just want to leave. The Anisadora, please. Hooray! I left the alien behind, but with his lovely little magical tether, he will, of course, meet us at the other side. Now, we could assume that there's like 50 aliens. Now that we know there's an entire nest, that other alien may not be like the only one we were ducking the entire time. We, have be we may have actually shot the wrong one out into space. I bet you anything that once that one gets out into space, it's probably going to land on a planet somewhere and end up killing an entire colony or something. Let's have a look here. This room looks vaguely familiar. Isn't this the room where it blew up and then I had to climb like all the... Okay. On the plus side, because this area is on fire, maybe we have an increased chance. Where are we going? Oh man, it's way over there. Okay, so we're back in here. I'm gonna try and hustle. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, on the plus side, there's lots of hiding spots. Now, I do hear cameras or something looking around, and that's fine. If it wants to look around, that's good for it. But for me, I don't think that I wanna be here long enough for the camera to see me anyways. So let's just keep our motion tracker out. The alien, I was always a little too timid with it, so now I'm tr Oh, it's actually a grumpy-ass alien. Okay, I'm sorry, a grumpy-ass android. Alright, let me see if I can handle the- Oh, he's in a suit. Shit. Okay, so since he's in a suit- Ow. I think you need to calm the hell down. But I can't really fire a gun at you either, so... There is that to be considered right now. Okay, so the alien's back that way. I just heard him come out. In the delightful way that he likes to do. But, I've got enough Molotovs and things to where I'm not really that worried about him. So, I think I'll probably just ignore him and we'll just get our leg working for for right now. I mean, I hear him moving around. Okay, and so I need to be this way. That's good, that's good. I've got Molotovs. We'll be able to deal with them if we have to. I would prefer to be, like, under here for a second while we wait. Okay, so there it is.
Luckily, it didn't notice me looting a flashbang right now, so that's cool. It appears to be stuck. What the hell is it doing? Hmm. I guess it's just looking around. It was like, ooh, this room's kind of creepy. I don't really want to go in there. I guess I'll stay back. You know what? It's a little bit scary. I am an alien after all. Things might be in here trying to get me. I do want my crayons back, but, you know... Why do I feel like I'm about to get got? Okay, so once it leaves... Go ahead, alien. Go ahead. Be on your way. And once the door closes, I'll use the motion tracker. But up until then, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Okay. So it's back in over there. Where do we need to go? We need to go somewhere over here. Presumably. I guess not. Shit. That'll get rid of him. So find an ambulance craft to San Cristobal in the security bay. Okay. Is this what I'm looking for? Oh, it's over there. I see it now. Okay. We're going to have to keep this one on the DL for a second. Because it's going to come back. Every time I Molotov this thing, it comes back like four seconds later. So yeah, I figured I wasn't going to have time to hack that door. I, was, I wanted to hack it. I just didn't think that I was going to have time. And I was absolutely correct. Now this whole thing becomes problematic because we need the alien to like go somewhere else while we do this. And if he's going to be hovering around this region, it's going to be very, very difficult for us to hack that in time. I think it, like, kind of sees me right there, but it resets itself because it's not supposed to see me. I think that's actually a flaw in the, in the alien's design right there, is that if you're under this thing right here, this set piece, it seems to see you for just a second, then it's like, and it goes and does something else. So let's give it a minute. We'll see where it goes, and then we'll be off and about our way. Come on, alien. Go away. Don't turn around. It's just like standing out there. Okay, so the alien's over there. My access tuner isn't powerful enough. Of course. Alright, so the access tuner is not strong. I'm gonna find a level 3 upgrade for the access tuner. Great. This is called moving the goalposts. Screech! That's the sound of metal on concrete. Goalposts being moved. Are you having fun yet? Okay, well, is that door now open over there? No, that's still shut. The little light on the front of it. I like how they put a little light on everything to let you know if it's locked or unlocked. That's at least a little helpful. I've got very little alien movement anyways, although it looks like my number at the bottom left is decreasing, so I think it's coming this way as per normal. Whether or not it comes back in here, I don't know, but we'll wait it out and see. Alright, it's coming back in here. Maybe. Oh, it's up in the vents. Interesting. Alright. Well. If it's going to stay up in the vents, I think I'll just have a little look around. Try and fi figure out what I can and can't use in this situation. It does, however, seem as though the alien is just kind of hovering right now. Level 3 access tuner. I can't do anything in there. It says that it's supposed to be in this region, right? Okay. So it looks like there's definitely something that leads off that way. We just got to get the doors open. Maybe? 
Or maybe the access tuner's out there in the hall, but I doubt it. I don't really like relish the thought. Oh, there it is. Come on, you don't need like the little cutscene and everything. We know you've got an access tuner. Just grab it and equip it and let's go. So long as the alien stays up in the damn vents, we should be okay. Go for it. There it is. Oh my god. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. And then we got that. Wow, that was an intense one. That one had like a lot of little things that I had to push. It had a lot of weird little symbols. Why couldn't you just put like A, B, C, D, E? Our is already in the system. Just punch the dash. What about you? Wait, how do I? Oh, you just gotta. Okay, there we go. Ambulatory system. Let's launch ourselves into space. Exploration time. You know something's about to go wrong. This entire game has been one giant exercise in moving the goalposts. Hmm. I don't trust this. Not for a second. Can you hear me? I'm gonna be square right now. Things aren't looking so good on the Anisa Dora either. Am I even on the Anisa Dora right now? Like, where am I? There's a save point, so I suppose I should probably use that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I can hear it, and I was tracking it with my ears, but I couldn't find it. Awesome! Let's save our game! In we go! Explore the Anisadora. Is that really... Is it time for that? Anisadora the Explorer? I don't think it's time for us to do that right now. How about we leave? I mean, honestly, I just die of starvation or thirst in the shuttle. That's way better than being impregnated by an alien. I see that there's vents in here, which means that there's probably going to be an alien in here very shortly. Actually, I'm going to use the downtime real fast to medkit myself. There we go. Make sure that health is peaked out. We've got enough parts now to where I can throw down and get rid of some of our scrap and other bits and bobs, too. Alright. Refill our Molotovs. And then anything else that I wanted. We can't make a pipe bomb right now. EMP mines. Can we make you? Yeah, let's make an EMP mine. We already had that prime, so we might as well. I don't think they're going to have a working Joe on here, but you never know. Worse things and weirder things have happened in this playthrough. I guess I'll go through the only door with a green light on it. Into this spooky, misty area. You'd think they'd make these ships a little bit more comfortable. Like, this whole thing really seems like it wouldn't be conducive to a good mindset through space. That's like a real problem. People go crazy in space. Like, you got to make things look homey. you got to make them look nice. I think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisa door is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then, we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo, Wayland yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlow had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. I never feel anything in my bones, because bones don't have... Do, 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 do bones have nerves inside of them? Biology people, do bones have nerves deep inside of them, or are the nerves limited to the outside of the bone? I'd figure they would have some kind of nerve lining, because one of my family members had to get, like... I don't know, they said that they had to get their marrow done for something. I don't know. The hell was that?
Why does it sound like the entire ship is taking a leak? I don't like this place. I don't like this place at all. Ooh. Flamethrower fuel? Yeah. Yes, please. And a singular shotgun shell. Just in case you needed to fire one shotgun shell at one thing. Like a space duck, for example. Just be a good shot. Marlo. Heist says he's just picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Want to come up and see for yourself? Technician's report. October 24th, 2137. Marlo, I decided to do some much needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was complaining so loudly I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon. And not just for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this and we're going to end up being the only salvage crew hitchhiking through deep space. It's going to be an expensive job, so let's get, hope you're right and we get, uh, let's hope you're right about that beacon. It could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key code afterwards. The new one is 4510. We're outside Sevastopol. Milo and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Milo's ship. She's Milo's wife. And things got heated. And Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlo doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Hmm. Forty-five ten is the door code that we need. All right, so I didn't see a locked door anywhere. Maybe I was just oblivious and walked right by it. But. Her systems were supposed to bring her back online. She looks like she's kind of online already. Alright, well there doesn't appear to be any type of keypad or anything over here. Oh, let me get a flashlight back on. I know, I feel bad for you, poor viewer, whenever I leave you blinded in the dark like this. Because I can sort of see it on my screen, but... I figure once I render it out anyways, it's gonna be so dark that nobody's gonna be able to see anything. If you're wondering why I was staring at the floor there for a second, it's because I was itching my nose in real life. My nose gets super itchy. Anybody on my Twitch stream will tell you, my nose gets ridiculously itchy whenever I broadcast, and I just don't even know what causes it. So, that's off. Maybe there was something in that room that I missed. Let's go back. Let's go look. Because I'm not known for my observational skills. It's really not the thing that I am known for. There are many things I am known for. Making a scene at Hometown Buffet, for example. Well known. You know, flatulence. Known for that occasionally. Oh, pfft, there it is. So we go 4510. There it is. And then here it looks like we've got some generators that need to be started back up. You know there's about to be an alien on this ship. Mash the E button. There we go. Does that fix all of them or do I gotta do it twice? I gotta do it twice. That's fine. The machine's so nice, you gotta rev it twice. I'm good for that. I will point out that that was kinda loud though. Ooh, I like how the engines are tracked. That's cool. That's nifty. I like it. Got like some kind of hydraulic or pneumatic system that pulls it back down into place once it's been activated. It's legit. It's too legit to quit. Although, if you quit right now and I have to fix you again, I will be frustrated by the fact that you have ruined my saying that rhymed. When things rhyme, you're not allowed to ruin them. Oh. Gotta do that. Gotta do that. And then we gotta do that. There we go. That one I actually don't like because it takes a lot longer, I think, at least in my own opinion. Seems like there are some very real and serious problems with the machinery in here. 
Especially this part over here that's like shooting fire everywhere. Pretty sure. Alright, so I don't see anything happening there. Where are we going now? I mean, there was a couple doors. Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. Maybe you want to join my crew. Plenty of free spots. Is it a face hugger? I'm not okay if it's a face hugger. I don't like face huggers. My face can stay unhugged. If you want to hug other parts of me, that's okay. I like feeling love like anybody else. But face hugger, eh, it's unnecessary. It's invasive. It's too much. In fact, that was part of the design strategy when they des- Oh, tell me it's not on the ship right now. That was part of the design strategy anyways. When they designed the alien, they wanted to make it uncomfortable to people, and so they, basically they focused on the oral penetration aspects of it because that seemed to be something that made everybody green at the gills, and everybody was like, ooh. Like, basically it made the creature more terrifying, and that's why they designed it that way. Whatever it was that attached itself to Foster is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Fo Foster said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her into hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I could slow the process. Sebastopol's the nearest station, so I'm gonna get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figure the Nostromo flight recorder may be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sebastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sebastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Wait's up. Okay, so it sounds like Waits was trying to get himself a little something-something on the side. It's alright, everybody's out for themselves. I mean, he knows they've got wounded crew. It's a business tactical move, I suppose. Bolt gun, are you reloaded right now? You are. Shotgun, are you reloaded? You are. Is everything reloaded? Good. I don't foresee any other problems, so I guess I'll just tune this thing for right now. Oh good, this one's nice and slow. He said, knowing full well that he might offend the machine, and then the machine spirit might betray him. No, you said I was slow. We're not friends anymore. Door close. Alien summon. I don't know why it would be giving me more bullets if something bad wasn't about to happen right here. And I, I've got a feeling something bad is about to happen. Oh good. Somebody's been doing some light floor reading. Just hanging out, reading on the floor. I tried to save Foster. Brought up to Sebastopol. Broke all the rules, getting her ashore. That was stupid of me. Stupid. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can't. All you can do is refuse to engage. You gotta wipe out every trace, destroy any clue, stop its infection from spreading. Make sure there's no chance of the human race ever making contact with it again. Because the moment it makes contact, it's one. The company's never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. What, are we gonna nuke it from orbit? I mean, I've, that's been my position the entire time. I volunteer. We can suicide this bomb. We can suicide bomb this ship together, but seriously. We can't let this thing, like, run into Earth or anywhere else. Because that's its intended purpose, is for wiping out planets. At least in the lore. Space jockeys use the alien to wipe out things they don't like anymore. Oh, man. Okay, so there's the cryo sleep pods. Yeah, 
and a save point. Okay, so let's jump in and do that for sure. Alright, and I think that leaves us at a decent point to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Alien Isolation. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and I'll see you next time.